a massive move is incoming for the Toronto Blue Jays is a brand new report from Ken Rosenthal has revealed that the Jays are all in on the best pitcher available on the market. We're going to break down that report as well as discuss some other reports circulating surrounding other targets as well as a rumor surrounding Corbin Burns that has Jays fans fired up. Stay tuned for all that in this episode. But folks, before we get into it, if you're part of the percentage that aren't subscribed to the channel, we're on the road to 15,000 subscribers. We're going to try to hit it before Christmas. So if you want to help us towards that goal, smash that subscribe button. And thank you guys again for your continued support in the videos and the live streams. And I know that Juan Soto is not a Blue Jay, but there are a ton of other, ton of other options, sorry, for the Jays to pivot to. And it's going to be an extremely busy week as winter meetings are officially underway. I'm expecting tons of transactions starting today around the MLB. And this is the place to be for all the news. And folks, there's a lot to go into today. And Tons of news is dropping. We have a report that has come out from Ken Rosenthal. I also believe that Ross Atkins is speaking out today. So stay tuned for the video on that later. Also, tons of live streams coming this week. But Ken Rosenthal just then on foul territory very, you know, just an hour or so ago. I expect the Blue Jays to put together a monster offer for Corbin Burns. And this is huge. This is the first time, and we know that they've met with Corbin Burns in person. John Morosi tweeted that and um, reported that last week. But now, as you look into kind of the future of what this offseason could hold for the Jays regarding free agents, Corbin Burns is the best available player. And if in an offseason where if you didn't have Juan Soto, this would be the, the prized possession. This would be the Juan Soto equivalent, obviously not nearly as good of a player. But when you're looking at it from a Jays perspective now, like, you're in a very interesting spot here. And say you're going to put together a monster offer for Corbin Burns. We're going to dive into Corbin Burns a little bit, but he is an extremely good pitcher. And what that would do is instantly add around four wins to your team. And again, war is an end-all, be-all. I know a lot of people talk about it, but I do think it's important given the case scenario of the Jays. They went 74 and 88 last year. They have to add at least 10 or so wins, 10 to 12 wins to be competitive and try to make a push. I would say 12 wins. You're getting four with Bo Bichette. And now with Corbin Burns, if you can add him in, He's an elite pitcher. He would immediately spearhead the rotation of Burns, Barrios, Gosman, Bassett, and then Bowden Francis. That is an ex one of the best, if not the best, starting rotation in the MLB. And again, we have to account for a little bit of regression from Kevin Gosman, from Chris Bassett, and things like that. But I ultimately think that they need to put together a monster offer. And I think if they give him the most amount of money, he's already played in the AL East last year with the Baltimore Orioles. Not only are you taking him away from the Orioles, you are, of course, adding an elite pitcher. And if they have an offseason of a guy like, you know, Corbin Burns, Anthony Santander, and then one other player, really, really solid offseason. It was just a few offseasons ago they were able to get, you know, Marcus Semien, George Springer, Robbie Ray. Spear had a great offseason. And I also want to bring up this right here, which again, take this with a huge grain of salt. It is mock bomb. He has gotten some things right in the past. Absolutely. He's gotten some things wrong. So take it with a grain of salt. He says sources, the Jays have made it known to Corbin Burns that they want him and will outbid the rest of the teams for his services. The Jays are favorites now for Burns after missing out in Soto. Sources tell me they expect the Jays to offer at least five years, $38 million AAV. So that is an extremely, extremely steep amount um, for Corbin Burns. That being said, if you do the math, that's about a five-year, $190 million deal. Now, I think it's going to take a bit more than that. That being said, that is a high AAV. And again, take that with a grain of salt. It's not a notable reporter. However, this came out, and you also, you know, you had this come out before it. So Ken Rosenthal is confirming that Jays are going all in. You know that John Morosi came out and tweeted that they've already met with Corbin Burns. So I think they're going to get one of Corbin Burns or Max Fried. And if you made it into this video this far and you're watching right now, leave down below who would you prefer given their risk and, of course, the money. Corbin Burns is going to get more money than Max Fried. I think Spot Track has Corbin Burns at about seven years, $211 million or, or something of that nature. At least that's what people, it might not be Spot Track, but someone is, you know, the rumor going around is seven years, $211 million. Would you give Corbin Burns seven years, $211 million? I think after striking out a Juan Soto, you have to give Corbin Burns a lot of money. And I'm fine with the Jays overpaying at this point for a guy like Corbin Burns. Now, there is some worry about regression, which we'll get into a little bit here. But again, according to this guy, they are the favorites for Corbin Burns. They know they want, they made it known they want him. I don't know that Ross Atkins can go out again and play passive and go ahead and go for Justin Turner, or Kevin Kiermaier, buy low guys. It just cannot happen. This is Ross Atkins' last chance, and Mark Shapiro, and even John Schneider to a degree, albeit he has less of an influence on the decisions. It's time that they actually take a swing and make a move. And if they don't do that, then they're going to be stuck in middle middling territory like they were last. I mean, they weren't even middling territory. They were horrible last offseason. So it's uh, it's a huge deal. And as you look at some of the holes they have to fill here, you look at the infielders, you look at the outfielders, they, and this is from Keegan Matheson, we'll be using this a lot throughout the, yeah, probably throughout this week as they go ahead and look for other guys. Like their outfielders as it stands right now, 
I mean, George Springer, Dalton Varsho is going to start the season in the IL, and then Joey Laperfito in left field. They need to add an outfielder. I think they're going to add Anthony Santander. But as you look at the rotation, Gosman, Barrios, Bassett, Yariel, Bowden, Francis. Yariel Rodriguez has been great. He's been really good and better in the bullpen, especially last season. So if you get Corbin Burns, then you're looking at a kind of a lineup of, you know, Burns, Gosman, Barrios, Bassett, and Bowden, Francis. You still need to upgrade the bullpen. There's three guys in the bullpen you have right now. Of course, they might, you know, Hagen Dan or some guys like that from down in the minors. But it's very intriguing. And one thing that's interesting from Josh Goldberg, he said, Corbin Burns is still very good, but his case per nine has declined in three straight years. Started as 10.83 in 2022 during the great 2022 season, Cy Young caliber year. 9.29 in 2023, and then an 8.38 in 2024. So his strikeouts are going down. He still had a sub three ERA with the Orioles last year. But if you're worried about what, you know, if you're a little bit worried about regression and you're offering him a seven year deal, Maybe it's something that you kind of, you know, are a little bit hesitant about, which again, I don't think you should be at this point. I mean, you have to just go for it. The Jays have no other op option at this point. If they don't get Corbin Burns, then you obviously pivot to Max Freed. If they don't get any of Corbin Burns or Max Freed, then from there, you're kind of stuck regarding really improving your team. They need hitters no matter what. They need to get a guy like Santander, make a trade, do something. But when it comes to adding impact players, like they need to do this offseason, it has to come in the form of Corbin Burns or Max Free. And again, even if you think Corbin Burns going to you know, decline a little bit, have a worse season, although some other metrics in the second half of the season with the Orioles, the Ks per nine went back up. So if you look at the advanced metrics there, I think he'll be fine. He's already pitching the ALEs last year. He's familiar with it. And again, you're coming into a team that hopefully will win some games. And if you're the Toronto Blue Jays, you give him the most amount of money. You do not let any other team outbid him, whether it's the Yankees, whether it's the Red Sox, whether it's the Orioles, do not get outbid. You were just in the final stages of bidding for Juan Soto you offered over 700 million dollars by all accounts it is time to step up and as you look at this team now this is not a playoff team Vladdy Bo good Ernie Will Spencer Leo like make some moves trade some guys I could I could see a Spencer Horwitz trade coming there's a lot of videos coming out about all these things but at the end of the uh, at the end of the day sorry you can see here this isn't the final team but man oh man if this season started tomorrow this team at the end of the day would be very disappointing and as you look at some of the other options available, we'll be covering these guys. You know, Santander projected three war. Jerks and Profar projected four war. You have Teoscar Hernandez projected three war. Like, they need to go ahead and make some of these deals. I think Santander at four years, 80, four years, 90 could be very solid. I think Santander pushes 90. Teoscar, like, get one of these guys. I'm more high. I'm, I'm higher, sorry, on Santander and Teoscar than Profar because Profar has a bit of a scarier profile. He hasn't been quite as good for as long with sustained success like Santander. I think he's Santander's sixth in home runs since 2022 or it's something like that. He has a lot of home runs in all of baseball. I think he's sixth in the, in the league. But at the end of the day, folks, Corbin Burns, make the push for that. Pivot to some of these other guys. And then at the end of the day, <laughs> go ahead and sign Vladdy because his expensive, or his contract has gotten that much more expensive since the Juan Soto sign. That'll wrap it up ton of videos coming for you all hit that subscribe button we're on the road to 15,000 we'll have another video today breaking down Ross Atkins comment assuming he speaks out and again there's a lot of news coming so make sure to hit that button and we'll be live streaming a ton as well so stay tuned for that and thank you guys for your continued support we'll see you in the next one